I'm going to show you how to first create a time lapse using Adobe Premiere Elements 2020 guided mode. So Adobe has quick, guided, and expert mode. So I'm going to show you first how to do it in guided mode, and then I'll show you after that how I would do it just on my own. So first, you want to go to guided, then you want to go to fun edits, and then it's going to be create time lapse video. So you want to select on that, and then it's going to give you a series of prompts. So the first one is create a time-lapse video from your vi photos or videos. Click the right arrow to get started. And for best results, use a sequence of photos or video clips from the same event. So with um, time-lapse, there's two ways you can do a time-lapse. You can do a time-lapse from a recording and speed it up, which is what I'm going to show here. Or you can have a camera take a series of photos in intervals, and then you basically put those photos together one after the other, and that kind of creates the time lapse as well. So those are two different ways to create a time lapse. But here, we're going to do a recording from when I went to Hawaii and I captured a sunset. So we're going to do a time lapse of that. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to select the arrow. As you can see, it's giving me the prompt click project assets to create a new folder. So I'm going to select it. And it's giving me another prompt here. I'm going to select this and I'm going to select new folder. Then it says double click the newly created folder to open it. So I'm going to double click it. And it's going to say click to add media to add a series of photos or video clips from the same event. So I'm going to click add media. And I'm going to select files from folder because that's where it's located. Then I already have it open. So I'm going to select these files here. I'm going to select open. So now all the files are in the same folder. Then it's telling me to click panel options, sort by. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to select sort by, then create date ascending, which is all in this prompt here. So I'll move it over so it's more viewable. So it says your media is now stored in a project asset bin. Drag and drop your media onto the video one track. So I'm going to drag it. And when it says video one, they mean to drag it and drop it here. So now, as you can see, this is the full video. So what you can do is to see how long it is. You can actually move this slider. So as you can see right now, the full length of all these videos together is about almost an hour long. So I created I just this is just normal recording of the 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 sun setting in Hawaii. So it says right click the clip in the timeline and choose delete audio. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to select delete audio. So now it's taking all the audio away from the clip. Now it's telling me to right click in the timeline and select time stretch. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to select clip, then I'm going to go to time stretch. Then it says set speed between 2000% and 3000%. For this one, we'll just do halfway, we'll do 2500. I'm going to select OK. It says click play to preview or to change the duration. So we'll do a quick preview. So as you can see, that's basically um, the sunset. And then what I'll do with this video is um, I will, when I finish it, upload it to YouTube. And then you can see it. But as you can see, the clouds are moving. Um, and then you, you have the sun basically setting. Um, and I will link the full video when I finish. So next, it says click tiles and text icon in the panel. So that's located here. It says drag and drop default text onto video two. So this is the default text. So I'm going to drop it onto video two. That's the video two track. It says adjust and drag the right corner to the title in the timeline. So I'm going to drag it so it's longer. And I'm just going to say here, um, I'll change it later. Well, before I can change it, I have to click next. Then it's going to say to add custom, select the vault text and type your title. So that's the default text. And now it's going to let me type it in. So now I'm just going to take this out. And then I'm just going to add Hawaii. Um, select next. So I'm going to change the format. I'm going to click the style. I'm just going to, for now, to just, just for the tutorial, I'll click something that's maybe more brighter. Let's go with that. Let's go with Hawaii. This looks like a good Hawaii color. So I have that there. Now I'm going to click next. Now it's telling me to add audio. So I'm going to select the audio here. 
I'm going to drag and drop it to the playhead. So it's there. And it's saying, do I want to preview or do I want to fit to the entire video? So I'm going to click fit to the entire video. And I'm going to click done. So now it's there for the entire length. And then I'm just going to select here. Now it's done. And then I can play the sample. And then you can see basically, you know, the sunset going over Hawaii. What I'm going to show you here is what I would do without the guided mode. So what I would do before I do any time stretches, I would go through the clip. So I go through it slowly because I did do this as a recording. It's not a series of photos. And I would just kind of scrub these clips to make sure nothing was too off because um, it is a time lapse. Um, but there are things that you want to, I want to kind of trim up because I know it wasn't a perfect um, recording. So this was a clip that was brought and as you can see it kind of shifts focus, everything moves. So this is I think one where I was just testing it out or messing it out, messing messing around. So with this clip here, looking at it in a way it's off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this one. All right, so I just selected it and I pressed the delete button. So now I'm going to continue going through the clip. This is at the full length before I did any speeding up of the actual video. So that looks good so far. And then up, oh, as you can see, the I moved the camera here. So there's like a shift in focus. Um, you can see the resort there, but that's not what I'm trying to capture in this time lapse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this button. It's basically the trim. That trims it, basically cuts it right there. I'm going to keep going and then what I'm going to do I don't want that shake in there so I'm going to clip it here and then this section I'm just going to delete it and once you delete it you can see everything just kind of jumps forward so now it goes from there it is a a different shift in perspective but that's because I moved the camera I mean, if I were to do this again I would definitely just get it on a tripod um, and set it there and let it go the entire time, not moving it. This is one of my first times doing a time lapse. Um, so it's, it is a good example because it isn't just perfect. Um, sometimes you're doing a recording, things aren't always perfect though, so, but it shows you how you can kind of fix it in post edit. So this now is a pretty good shot. You see everything going down, you're gonna see the sun go right down. And then you have this, you can see that tiny clip, but if you zoom in, this is just the end. I'm going to do a time stretch on this beginning part, so I'm going to click clip, time stretch. I'm going to go to 2500 again. So now what I'm going to do um, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it the end at its normal pace. So basically, you're going to see the sunset. Right, so the sun setting sun setting and then instead of it speeding up now it's just going to go to normal pace and that's just a preference um, just my own personal preference of how I wanted to do this one um, but that's a good thing you can you don't have to time stretch the entire thing and if there's parts that you want to slow back down you can do that um, it's all up to you so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to audio I'm going to keep the same aura put at the time Add, then it's going to generate it. I'm going to say fit to entire video. I'm going to click done. So I will also link the full video of the time lapse in the description and I'll also put it at the end screen of this video. So if you're interested in the camera that I used for this video, I use the Akeso EK7000. Um, it's a camera that I had for a couple years now um, as pictured on the screen. As of today, it's going for about $50 on Amazon and as you can see it has over 12,000 reviews. So it's a good camera. You don't have to use it for time lapse but you can use it um, just if you're going swimming, mountain, rock climbing, or even just riding your bike. It's a good camera that you can attach and use in different scenarios and then what I also use with the time lapse is I also use this kit um, so this kit has about 50 different pieces right now it's going for about $19 on Amazon and I'll link that in the description as well as the link to the camera in the description as well but uh, you can see the different stand right there that I used um, just to attach it and then 
basically held it still and was able to capture the sunset. So if you want to see more videos on how to use Adobe Elements 2020, especially as I'm learning and going along, um, I would say definitely subscribe or just check the playlist. And if you just want to subscribe to my channel in general, check out the content that I have. But thanks for checking out this video, and if there's anything I can improve on, drop it in the comments. This is Ish, and I challenge you, go out there and have a new experience today. Thanks. Bye-bye.